Welcome to the Cookie Countess Airbrush System. With your purchase, you will receive a system user guide, as well as a case containing a dropper, a mini wrench for changing your nozzle, and of course, your airbrush gun. Also included is an AC adapter, a rubber air hose, and finally, your compressor. To set up your airbrush system, first attach one end of your rubber air hose to the small white port on the side of your compressor. Next, plug in one end of the AC adapter cord to your compressor and the other end to your power outlet. Finally, attach the other end of your rubber air hose to your airbrush gun. You are now ready to start airbrushing. You can adjust the air pressure on your compressor by turning the white dial on top to the left for less pressure or to the right for more pressure. The Cookie Countess airbrush system is a single action airbrush system. This means that once the compressor is turned on, you will always feel air flowing from the gun. Only when the trigger is pulled will color start flowing. This makes the Cookie Countess airbrush system very easy to use. Let's add some color. Cookie Countess airbrush colors are specially formulated to work well with our airbrush systems. Add a drop or two of color to your color well. Before airbrushing directly onto a cookie, it's always a good idea to test the flow of color on a paper towel or something similar. The best practice is to leave your compressor on high and control the amount of color flowing from your gun by managing your trigger pressure instead. Practice to see how much pressure is required to start the flow of color. When airbrushing, hold your gun vertically about six inches above the surface of the cookie. Use very light trigger pressure to start color flowing and make slow, even passes over the area. You can always come back and add more color to achieve a darker shade. You can get a little bit closer to do more precise designs if desired. Airbrushing a stencil pattern onto a cookie is a fun and easy way to add an extra element of design. Using a Stencil Genie frame to hold your stencil in place over the cookie, use light trigger pressure and make a slow, even pass back and forth. If you pull the trigger fully back, you are likely to oversaturate the top of the cookie with too much color too quickly. This can lead to splotchy airbrushing as the air flowing from the gun forces the excess wet color out of the way as it hits the cookie. Additionally, oversaturated color can result in cookies that may not dry properly, if at all. Best results will come from adding light layers of color until you achieve the desired look. When done, replace your gun in its holder and carefully remove the stencil genie. You are left with a gorgeous stenciled cookie. To clean your gun after airbrushing, spray out any remaining color. You can do this on a paper towel or right in your sink. Add water to your color well and spray that out as well. Repeat as needed until the water runs clear. To make sure your nozzle is clean, you can also block the front of your gun with a finger and pull the trigger. This will cause the water to bubble up as you make the water and any residue flow backwards into the well. If you're using a color like metallics or white that is more prone to leaving residue behind, you can use a small bristled brush to clean inside your well. Rinse and repeat till the water runs clear. Once your gun is clean and only air is coming out, pat it dry with a clean paper towel, paying special attention to those front nozzle caps and inside the color well. It's really important to make sure you clean your gun very well after each use so it stays ready for the next project.